now that we have our bone constraints set up how we want, we're going to go ahead and start working on the actual blend that we're going to that's going to contain the armature and this pistol, and we're going to scale everything how we would want. So I'm going to go to File New, and do General. I'm pretty sure I saved it, but I'm going to do it just in case, and clear everything out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sandstorm rigged. So I'm going to click and drag the dot blend in my project and click append. We're going to go to collection and you'll see it has multiple different options. And what those are, I'll show you here in a second, is all right, so we have the bare hands, which is the mesh. If I want to add clothing on top of that, I just do sand camo security. We have different types of clothing that are already rigged up. Well, they already work properly and everything how we want. So that's what those options are. So I want to actually include all of them because I, quite frankly, we might use it. And press append. And that's going to put them all under this collection here. And I'm going to rename the collection to FPS Arms. And I'm going to hide all of the clothing. As you can see, it's underneath the world, just how we want. And I'm going to go ahead and save this Blender file. And I'm going to call it Animations. And save. So now we need to figure out the scaling. So to do that, we're going to use the first person character mesh as our base to go off of. So we're going to go to character, mesh, find our skeletal mesh. Asset Actions, we're going to export it. I'll just do it to the desktop. Eh, um, uncheck Lilla Detail, Collision. We're only going to export the preview mesh. Nothing else really matters. So we're going to go to File, Import. And import our mesh. As you can see, the scaling is a wee bit different. So to fix that, I'm going to select the armature, press N to bring up the view, and he is 125 meters tall, roughly. Damn. So we're going to change the scale to let's do 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. That shrunk him up quite a bit to be pretty close. Uh, for now, I'm going to move it up. I want to hide the skeleton of that guy. I'm going to move him up. Try to match the height roughly just to get a rough idea. So that's a little on the small side. We're going to do 0 0.15 or 0 0.015. And that's a little on the big side. Well, I think, let's see, can we bring the shoulders in pretty easily? Yeah, even that's still a little big. So let's, let's see, 0 0.12 or 0 0.012. Yeah, I kind of like that. So we're going to leave it at 0 0.012 for the uh, scale. And I'm going to drag it back down to world center. And I'll press Control A and apply the scale. And make sure it's applied for the mesh too. So we were just applying the armature. Let's click on the mesh and press Control S. And I just realized something that could save quite a bit of time. If we unhide these, as you can see, they are um, a little messed up now. So instead of going through and scaling them all individually, what we can do is just back, select the armature, unhide all of these. I'm actually going to delete the mannequin. And I deleted the mesh or skeletal mesh by accident. So I delete just the mannequin. Select all and change the scale to 0 0.012. And that did not work quite right as I'd hoped.
Oh well. It scaled the screw it. It's gonna do it back the normal way. I'd hope that would work. It didn't. Eh, let's still check scaling. Good to go. Put it back at the center. Delete the mannequin. Let's unhide all of our clothing. So these are two parts. Alright, so that worked on the gloves. Now we got the sleeves and the gloves. Do this part. Here, we actually need to apply the scaling. So gloves, control A, scale. Shirt, control A, scale. Now we can hide it. I'm going to do the same thing to here. Then do this K. Scale. Scale. Delete the mannequin arms. No, they should still be there. And do the final one. So control A and apply the scale. Alright, so now we got the do the same thing for the armature and the arms. So now everything should have a scale of one. And they're matched up to roughly the scale of the mannequin, or at least to where we're happy. So to do one more thing to make this a little bit easier to see, because now the camera Golly, if you can even see the thing. Or actually, the camera never imported. I didn't think about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a camera and assign it to... Uh, actually, it should spawn there anyway, since that's world origin. So we're going to go to object mode. Press shift A. Click camera. And here we have our camera. We're going to go to... Object Constraint Properties. I'm going to press N and just reset the rotation. Let's copy. I wonder if the transforms are actually set up. Just assign it to the root. Alright, so rotation-wise it's not. So we're going to do Copy Location. Select Root. Now we need to adjust the location ourselves, so on the X, see that'll, let's do negative 90, then Y, we're going to do 180. So now it's pointing up, and it's pretty much how we need it. It's perfectly straight. Now let's go to the camera properties, change lens unit to field of view, and set it to 90. Now that's, that's how we look through it press by zero on the number pad. Uh, I want to shrink it a little more because it's quite large to look at. So I'm going to press S to scale it. I want to make sure I have snapping for rotation and scale. And I'm just going to scale it down. I'll leave it there. Just something small so it's out of the way. It doesn't affect how you look through it or anything like that. So we are good to go there. So we have our FPS arms. And I'm going to save. And we're going to drag the 1911 final blend that we made into the project as well and click append. Go to collection, select the 1911 high poly, and append. And that sucker is huge. So let's get a rough idea of what we need to scale it by. Uh, let's try 0 0.01 and just see. I'm going to get a rough idea for the hands, and that's good bit too small. It's really cute though. Let's do 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. That's big. So let's do 0 0.015. 
too small. Just get a rough idea. Let's start positioning it to match the hand. Because we're just going to use this to get a rough idea of the scale, then we're going to go back into the other project that contains this pistol and we're going to save it. So that's on the small side. Let's scale it up. Let's see. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. We're at 0 0.03. I kind of like that. So we're at 0 0.03. So I want to copy that. And it's under the same collection. I don't want that. So I'm going to select the 1911 high poly, right click, delete hierarchy. I'm going to actually create a new scene or collection. So I'm going to right click, new collection, call this one pistol. Or actually, it'll have one for us. So let's just select scene selection. So let's go over here to our final, and remember 0 0.0, uh, 0 point, yeah, 0 0.03. Here we have it. So now we click on our armature, control A, and apply the scale. And do the same thing for our mesh. So then control S to save it. And let's do the same thing and try to append it again. And there we have it. It is now at the proper scale. So let's we need to think of a couple things here. Actually, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. And I'll start on the next one. Now that we have our base project set up that we can actually start animating in. So yeah, we're good to go. And I will see you in the next one.